Are you looking for a gift for a two-year-old boy? Our son's birthday is coming up and we got a package in the mail and I want to show you guys what we're getting our son for his birthday. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have and get for our son. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So our son's turning two years old and we always try to get something fun yet educational for our kids whenever it comes to getting them birthday gifts or Christmas gifts you know that type of stuff so I wanted to show you guys the thing that we got here and uh, my wife actually came across this and uh, she saw it whenever we were at I believe our cousin's house and uh, she was saying no it was at our friend's house and she was saying that he was having such a fun time playing with it so I wanted to show you guys what we got opening this bad boy up right here so what I like about this is the educational aspect to it this is the uh, a Sesame Street's Elmo's on the go letters made by Play School. And what's cool about this is that you guys don't know we have another channel where we travel a lot. So this thing is super cool because it folds up and he can take it with him in the car or just whenever we have to drive around town or whatever. It gives him something to do that he can play with in the car. So it comes in this little box right here. And you can see these are the ABC letters that come with it. And the way it works is it opens it up and it basically works like a puzzle. And that you uh, you have to fit the letter into the correct spot uh, of the puzzle. Let me go ahead and open this up for you guys so that y'all can have a better look at like how big everything is and, and what all is inside there because there's also on here is uh, there's pictures where each letter goes just to kind of give your kid a reference point if you will as to what letter goes where. So let me take a look at packaging. Got two little cardboard things up there and this big case that sits in there. So we're just going to pop this guy out. And it has the big Elmo face on the front right there. And it opens basically kind of like a suitcase or a briefcase. You pop these little guys up right here. That might be a little hard for a child to get up. I don't know for sure. We'll have to kind of watch him and see how he does. But uh, pop that open right there. Open that up. Whoa. You have all of your letters nice and in a row right there. Also nice about this is how color coded they are so that you can start teaching your kids colors. Uh, you know, you can say find the orange D and then they have to go and find letter D. So not only are they learning their alphabet, they're also learning some colors here as well. It comes with orange, red, purple, blue, and green. And then they also have the ABC up here, you can see the purple, blue, and green right there. I'm assuming they couldn't fit all of them into here. That'd be kind of interesting. Hmm. I find that interesting because it seems like since this thing closes, they should all fit. But I guess since they're not pressed down into there, I'm assuming... Huh. I'm wondering if they're magnetic or if they kind of like fit in there. Uh, like with like a little stopper thing because whenever you close it obviously if you're closing one side they would kind of fall apart what's nice too is that it looks like they have this empty space here so if it's like time to go they can put their extra ones right there I'm assuming that's what that's for very simple design like I said Elmo on the front just red on the back and uh, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because I'm curious to know if these letters are going to pop in there or not it seems to be screwed down extremely well. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there are like a bajillion screws in this thing all the way, like in between each letter almost. So that thing shouldn't be going anywhere. Let's see, we got the letter R right here. Your green R. <laughs> if you guys want to check this thing out too, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, but as this, uh, I don't know the characters. Y'all know what character that is, that Abby? No, that's not Abby. That's one of the monsters. I don't know. Pop that one in. Oh, it actually, yeah, it does. It pops in. So now the real test is the gravity test. Hey, 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 that actually works fairly well. But you know what's going to happen. You have a two-year-old. They're going to do this. It fell out. <laughs> so if this thing drops, you might be picking up a little bit of a mess because they don't seem to be the strongest uh, hold in there. Now, it does have... It looks like a little concave thing right there to where, every, to where you can actually get your finger into there to be able to pop these things out. That's super nice. The only thing that I could say, and I understand why they didn't do this, but it would be nice if they were magnetic just so that um, it would it'd be easier to kind of pop them in and out. And I think they might actually stay better. I don't know. They don't jiggle that much too. 
once they're in there. There's a little bit of noise in there. So if they get it and they start just shaking it all over the place, it might make a little bit of a noise. But uh, the magnetic reason why I think that they didn't do that is because you don't want your child to ingest a magnet because that would not be good going through the intestines and whatnot. Um, but this seems to actually work fairly well. I'm gonna put a few of these in here so we can uh, kind of get a feel. Yeah, okay, it doesn't make too, too much noise. It does jiggle around a little bit. Now, what another cool thing that's in here, granted this is Sesame Street oriented, but you have E for Ernie. So they can start learning how to say some of the letters whenever you say Ernie, E, Ernie, F, football, F, 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 football, G, 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 Grover. One thing I noticed too is that it goes all the way across both pages from left to right. I don't know if I like that or not because usually whenever this reminds me of like a book and especially with letters on there, it seems like it should be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, the going and then starting back up over here again i could just be you know maybe there i'm assuming that they would have some kind of uh psychological reason why they did it this way with kids i guess that's just from a grown-up's perspective of knowing how to read granted kids don't know how to read yet so they may they don't understand that whole page by page type of thing i guess unless you read a lot of books to them which we do with our kids um, but all in all, this looks like a cool gift. I think he's going to like it. I like how compact and travel oriented it is. Oh, I wanted to see if we can close this thing with a whole bunch of letters in there. So I need to find a couple that are across from each other. So let me find letter P. Hang on. So, okay, we have P right here. P right here. We have W right here. Closing it up. Boom! Closes up. Like I said, if you guys wanna check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all go read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I'm one guy showing it off to you guys for the first time. Maybe if our son is like really enjoying this thing or if something bad happens to this thing, like these screws start popping out or whatever, I'm gonna do a follow-up review of this thing if you guys wanna check that out. Make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you actually get notified of our videos too. If you guys want to see some of the other gifts that we've given our kids over the years, I'm going to put them right there on the screen. You guys go click those videos if you want some more gift ideas. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.